ओम श्री चिन्मय सर गुरु नम हर ओम स्टूडेंट्स चिल्ड्रेन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट अवर ग्लोब ऑलरेडी यू लर्न इन यूर लोअर क्लासेस इन यूर फिफ्थ क्लास एंड फोर्थ क्लासेस आल्सो एस्पेशली इन अवर ग्लोब आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू अबाउट लैटिट्यूड्स एंड लैंग्वेज्यूड्स दिस इज यूअर जियोग्रफी लेसन टू म ओपन यूअर टेक्स्ट बुक एंड फॉलो द video look here children here these horizontal lines and vertical lines all are imaginary lines these horizontal imaginary lines are called as latitudes and these vertical imaginary lines are longitudes for easy and accurate location of particular place our geologists they drawn these imaginary lines to measure the latitudes and longitude location of the particular place here the intersection of these latitudes and longitudes this rectangle box is called as grid is called as grids and these longitudes also called as meridian what is the another name for this one meridian or longitude look at the textbook now in your fifth class in your lower classes you learn about our planet earth it is not in sphere it is lies slightly flattened at the north and the south poles and bulge in the middle so bald it is like a swelling round so here it is somewhat slightly flattened and here it is bulged during the uh, near the equator so this is north pole and here it is south pole north pole and south pole so can you imagine how it looks like it is looks like a ball and globe is true model of the earth globes may be varying size and type some are big ones some are uh, small ones so the big ones uh, we cannot uh, carry easily so that some people are ma maintaining pocket globes so these globes look like a balloon or ball so which can be inflated and are handy and carried with this the globe is not fixed it can be rotated the same way as a top spin or a potter's wheel is rotated so it is always this earth rotating around the around itself and revolving around the sun it is not constantly standing on one place if you observe here in this picture look here children and this is actual position of our earth so while rotating and revolving around the sun our earth slightly slant see here this is northern uh, night time this is day time so this is northern tropic and this is equator and this is the southern part so the equator divides our globe into two equal parts here see this one this is actually straight one but if you observe here this axis so this is what we call this so based on this power our earth rotating so this acts actually this is 90 degrees and what is the space here 23 and half degrees slantly bent towards the east here so towards the east so earth rotating in this way from west to east earth always rotating from west to east it's slanting 23 and half degrees towards the east so this pole what we call as axis so these are the two points if you observe this is north pole and here it is south pole these all are imaginary line 
so due to this equator what happened our earth is divided into two equal parts now coming to the latitudes so here 20 degrees 1 lat 40 60 80 up to 90 so to from equator towards the north pole we have 90 latitudes and from equator to south pole we have 90 latitudes total we have 180 latitudes how many 180 latitudes and if you observe here these are northern latitudes and these are southern latitudes for easy view so we have taken the picture of this uh, from the view of top of the globe the value of each latitude is therefore followed by either the word north or south generally this is indicated by the letter north n and s for example if we see here above the equator all latitudes are symbolized with n means towards the north pole and all here below the equator it is a southern hemisphere so that this all latitude indicates with s so this this is south pole and here it is north pole and if you take the chandrapur of maharashtra in india and belo horizonte in brazil are located and parallel support 20 degrees latitude but the former is 20th north of the equator and the latter is 20th south of the it we therefore say that chandrapur is situated at 20 degrees north latitude and below horizontal is situated at 20 degrees southern latitude so we see in figure 2.2 that as we move away from the equator the size of the parallels of latitude decreases you see what is the length here near the equator it is very far to when we are going towards the poles north pole or south pole so the latitude distance will be decreasing yes or no the latitude distance will be decreased here these are the primary and important parallels of latitudes so if you observe here uh, i shown you in previous picture this is north pole and here it is south pole observe the mouse pointer here and 90 here 90 degrees north we call as north pole and 90 degrees southern southern latitude we call as south pole and apart from this we have four more important parallels here this is zero degrees imaginary line imaginary horizontal line what we called as equator so due to this equator our earth divided into two equal halves and here 23 and half degrees northern latitude we called as tropic of cancer and 66 and half degrees are 66.5 degrees northern latitude we called as arctic circle we called as arctic circle and here same 23 and half degrees southern latitude we called as tropic of capricorn and here 66 and half degrees southern latitude we called as antarctica circle antarctic so these are the important or primary latitudes on our globe due to the shape of the earth so here what I, I told you before here bulging shape so this is curved shape and here somewhat going towards the north pole and south pole it will be very narrow channel so that here when the sun rays see here on the equator sun rays appears on equator slightly distance is very less so that he in near the equator temperature is very high and going towards the pole towards the pole so here how these rays are slantingly slantingly uh, affect the poles here north pole and a little bit of arctic circle frigid zone so that here these regions are getting very less temperature when we compare with equator zone understood here it is 
high temperature and here it is very less temperature so due to the slanting rays slanting sun rays here these people are getting very less sun rays and enter this zone we call as frigid zone in the form of ice in the same manner here also so here below the tropic of capricorn and the antarctic circle we have temperate zone so not too cool not too hot but here in frigid zone it is very cool so the overall we called as our temperate zones are classified into three types ma first one is torrid zone near the equator from tropic of capricorn to tropic of cancer this zone we call as torrid zone from tropic of cancer to arctic circle north temperate zone tropic of capricorn to antarctic circle south temperate zone and near the pole it is frigid zone near the pole it is frigid zone very cool temperature mr see children here this is earth rotating so half of the earth are getting night and the rest of the half of affecting to the sun rays so here in the shape of bulging when it is going towards the poles here these are very slanting these are getting very slanting sun rays you observe the distance between the sun and here near the equator it is less distance and near the pole it is very long distance so that these people are getting very less sun rays ma so this is what we call as earth rotation earth rotating from west to east now coming to the temperate zone children here so this is uh, equator and here tropic of cancer and here tropic of capricorn the place between tropic of cancer to tropic of capricorn we called as tropical zone or uh, torrid zone so red in color completely here these people are getting very high temperature due to the due to the this bulge shape this place is directly exposed to the sun rays so that these countries whatever located near to the equator and between tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn we are these few countries are getting very high temperature and if you see our india half of india is located in a tropic or torrid zone rest of our india northern india that is located in temperate zone so warm temperature so that is the main reason in india we have two type of uh, climatical conditions so that in indian indian temperate temperature time zone we named with subtropical climate zone what we call as subtropical climate zone half of the india in hot zone half of the india in temperate zone so here from 23 and half degrees to 66 and half degrees uh, both the sides uh, south and north uh, both these two we call as temperate zone here temperature is warm very high temperature not very cool so from 66 and half degrees towards the north pole uh, same 66 and half degrees towards the south pole these zones we call as frigid zone or polar zone here temperature is very cool see here these are the imaginary lines of latitudes and longitudes now i am going to tell you a, a, a f amazing things about our latitudes how we are how our the latitudes and longitudes are useful to us and here lines of latitude are the horizontal lines and lines of the longitudes are the vertical lines so these 
latitudes and longitudes tell us about the exact location of the particular place for example what is the latitude and longitude location of andhra pradesh what is latitude and longitude location of the nellore so in this way to identify the place accurately so we are getting this one now facts about this one so this is what we called as equator zero degrees latitude so these lines are cross the prime meridian in 90 degrees see here these vertical lines 60 40 30 20 10 these all are latitudes these all horizontal imaginary lines if you observe everywhere is there here some the distance of the latitudes are very far and here the distance is very close to the polar zones so these are the countries and continents ma which are located in torrid zone temperate zone and frigid zone so here this vertical zero degrees meridian we called as prime meridian or greenwich meridian so the uh, our world timings even indian timings also depends based on this location of prime meridian so here once again i am telling you that the zero degrees latitude we called as equator 23 and half degrees northern latitude we called as tropic of cancer if you observe this tropic of cancer divides our india into two equal halves that is southern india and northern india and here 23 and half degrees capricorn tropic of capricorn towards the southern hemisphere in between these three 23 and half degrees north to south we called as torrid zone these are the primary important latitudes this is storage zone which one is first when trying to remember which tropic is in the northern hemisphere and which one is in the southern hemisphere then go to alphabetically for easy so c a n comes and after that capricorn so north is tropic of cancer and south is tropic of capricorn everyone of you have a lot of confusion where is tropic of cancer where is tropic of capricorn so if you can follow the alphabetical order wise also cancer will come first so that top of the equator is tropic of cancer and after that topic of capricorn so there is no confusion if you remember in this way <coughs> see here frigid zone it lies between arctic circle to south pole here and here uh, sorry northern frigid zone is located in between arctic circle to north pole and southern frigid zone lies between antarctic circle to south pole so these are the temperate zones so temperate zones are in between so northern temperate zone lies between tropic of cancer to arctic circle and southern temperate zone lies between tropic of capricorn to antarctic circle and in the same way torrid zone so from tropic of cancer to tropic of capricorn this is torrid zone and also divided into northern torrid zone and southern torrid zone above the equator to from equator to tropic of cancer northern torrid zone equator to south means the tropic of capricorn we called as south torrid zone so these are the main temperate zones of the globe
here this is about temperate zone in this video you are going to watch about the temperate forests temperate have warm summers zone. and cold winters temperate forests have warm most of these forests occur winters. in asia europe australia most of these and north america occur in asia Europe, Many Australia, animals in temperate forests have small bodies that allow them to move easily through the underbrush. These include mammals such as chipmunks, mice, raccoons, and squirrels. Larger forest animals include bears, deer, and wild boar. In wet forests, slugs and other snails are common. In wet forests, beavers, and other snails are common. fish, frogs, Muskrats, otters, frogs, salamanders, muskrats, and turtles otters, live in or near woodland streams, and ponds, and lakes. Live in or near woodland streams, salamanders are lakes. often plentiful. They hide in the leaf litter under rocks, where they feed on insects and other small organisms. A great number of birds also find their home in the temperate forests. They nest in the trees and shrubs. The destruction of temperate forests threatens the survival of forest animals. Many temperate forests have been cleared for farms and cities, while many others have been cut down for fuel and lumber. Extensive logging in the Pacific Northwest of the United States, for example, has destroyed much of the habitat of the spotted owl, threatening the continued existence of that animal. Yeah, you are going to observe the Antarctic continent is the so. coldest, driest, windiest the place on Earth. Is the coldest, driest, windiest place on Earth. Pristine white, sparkling blue. It holds more than 60% of freshwater on the planet. Blue. Yet it holds more than 60% of freshwater on the is inhospitable Yet for most of its life. Frozen interior is inhospitable so different stories in the surrounding life. sea, where the Atlantic, Pacific Indian Oceans meet to form the Antarctic the or Southern Pacific Ocean. Indian Oceans meet to form the Antarctic or Southern Ocean. There, a distinctive array of life flourishes in waters that remain there, just above There, a distinctive frozen. array of life flourishes in waters that remain just above Krill frozen. translate the sun's energy gathered by green phytoplankton. Krill translate the sun's energy gathered by green phytoplankton. Krill translate the sun's energy gathered by green phytoplankton. Krill translate the sun's energy gathered by green phytoplankton. Krill translate the sun's energy gathered by green phytoplankton. Krill translate the sun's energy gathered by green Blue whales, spin whales, minky, right, and say whales migrate Blue whales, spin whales, each year minky, right, and say whales migrate it's also thousands big part of kilometers the diet each year fish, east on seals, krill. penguins, it's also sea a big birds, part of the diet and many other forms of life. Seals, penguins, seabirds, and many other forms of life. The Antarctic Southern Elephant Seal is the largest seal in the world. The Antarctic Southern Elephant Seal is the largest seal in the world. Its for being the most ferocious. Leopard Seal has a reputation for being the most ferocious. Six species of penguins breed in the Antarctic. The Adeli, six species of penguins breed in the Antarctic, which can grow to the Adeli, meter high. Most common. And the Emperor, as well as the Gemstrap, Gentoo, King, and Macaroni. As well as the Gemstrap, Gentoo, King, and Macaroni. A little awkward to think of the water and the sliding on icy surfaces. A little awkward to think of the water and the sliding on icy surfaces. And the water and the sliding on icy surfaces. And almost as fast. And the water and the sliding on icy surfaces. More than 40 species of flying birds and the scores in the Antarctic, including the couple of large scores predators, green penguin nests, chicks, and eggs. We steal the catch of adult chicks and sometimes kill them. We steal the catch of adult chicks and sometimes kill them. Recent expeditions in the Antarctic's Weddell Sea produced some scientific Recent surprises. Recent expeditions in the Antarctic's Weddell Sea produced these scientific surprises. Giant sea More than 700 new species. Giant sea spiders, sponges, huge and huge starfish. Enormous carnivorous sponges and huge new methods starfish. for exploring cold, dark waters around Antarctica. New methods for providing exploring insight into the nature of this previously unknown part of the world. Providing insight into the nature of this previously unknown part of the world. Year-round scientific stations Today, dot the more than 30 current year-round scientific stations dot the scientists are tracking the global warming patterns in the region and the ship scientists are tracking the global warming patterns in the region. Ice mass.
near the equator it is located 0 degrees latitude as you know that which divides the globe into two parts so what is the distance near the equator see 40075.16 kilometers long this equator length it is in miles 24901 meter the equator divides the earth into the northern and southern hemisphere as i explained you on the equator the sun directly overhead at noon uh, two times two equinoxes the first equinox is on 21st june and the one is 21st december on these two days sun rays directly touches the equator at noon time and this location north of the equator have latitudes between the equator and the north pole and south pole on the equator the length of the day and night are equal so 12 hours daytime 12 hours evening time night time so in that way the day is always 12 hours long and the night is always 12 hours long equal days and nights if we are going towards the arctic zone or antarctic zone the daytime is less night time is more less daytime more night time what are the countries that touches tropic of cancer see here it is between 20 degrees 30 minutes north it passes the uh, more than cities uh, Haveli, portions of Central America, Northern Africa, Sahara Desert, and near Kolkata, India, our India near Kolkata. So, so these all touches the Tropic of Cancer. At the same time, like Tropic of Capricorn. So here the places like Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, Madagascar, and uh, Australia. This is Madagascar here, Sri Lanka. And if you see here, this is Madagascar, 23 and half degrees. Madagascar, Australia, and uh, Brazil. So these three important places touches Tropic of Capricorn. Here, Tropic of Cancer here. Like the way near the Arctic Circle, Antarctic Circle, what are the places? What type of animals are living? Just now I shown you videos near the Arctic Circle and Antarctic circles here polar bears, reindeers, musk ox, polar hare are the main uh, fauna available in frigid zone. And here in Antarctic circle and Arctic circle are also referred as the polar zones. So temperature is very cool in this area. This is the view from top uh, South Pole and uh, north pole so this is arctic ocean here this is north pole and here antarctic ocean here or southern ocean here this is south pole so this is a view from the space side so like that our earth is like this southern pole north pole and south pole rest of the all countries that are scattered on our globe In the same way north pole south pole and north and south poles together here the north pole is located 90 degrees north and south pole is located in 90 degrees south attitude uh, latitude from the equator the south pole lies at 90 degrees south at 90 degrees angle from the equator both are technically points but are considered latitudes for geographical purposes so these are the main important advantages of latitudes in next coming class i am going to discuss with you about the longitudes see here we have three knots in one word we can say that is what we call as geographical north grid north and magnetic north so one is original north pole we call as geographic north pole and here magnetic power so this is magnetic um, pole and one more is grid pole so here grid uh, north pole true north this is the point at which the earth rotates which we call north pole grid north as the earth is a sphere it is not easy to make a flat map so that north on the grid is in slightly different direction on each map so 
for the purpose of the calculations that is what we call as grid north here and magnetic north this is what your compass points to your compass needle is a magnet that lines itself up with the earth's magnetic field magnetic north is an different place to the rotation point the magnetic north moves slightly each year so that magnetic pole is separate north pole is separate and grid pole is separate for easy calculations and understanding children harum children thank you very much uh, read your textbook properly and understand in our next coming class i am going to explain you about languages what are the main advantages of languages stay home stay safe complete your works properly